Hey guys and welcome to another video from Irish Ham Radio. I'm Dave EI5 IMB and in this video I'm going to show you how I did and you could get hooked up to the DMR network and make contacts using just a Windows computer or laptop that has speaker and microphone capability and some free software called DudeStar. <laughs> Okay, so this is in no way a big in-depth guide, but it pretty much takes you through all the steps you need to do to get set up for DMR, regardless of whether you were using a Windows-based application or uh, getting it set up until you get to the point of having a radio or a hotspot. Uh, let me just say that if you already have a DMR ID and you already have got set up on Brandmeister and you already have a hotspot security password set up on Brandmeister, then you should skip ahead in this video to the time that I put here um, because uh, I'm going to go through that first but you can skip ahead to this time if uh, you already have that amount done already and you just are interested in the dude star application part so uh, let's get on with it okay so the first thing you need to do if you want to get on to DMR in any shape or form is get a DMR ID now to do that obviously you have to be a licensed uh, radio amateur and you go to radioid.net to register for a DMR ID. Uh, once you put in your registration, it takes a couple of days, maybe even less, and you'll get an email back with your DMR ID. Uh, just when you do this, uh, just make sure that uh, you check your junk mail uh, every day or every little while after the submission, just in case the email goes in there. Um, and that's really it. So I don't need to go into the detail of that. Just make sure you have your license information before you go to this website. And I'll put a link to this website in the description of the video below. The next thing you do is go to the Brandmeister network registration page and uh, register there with your call sign, your email address and a few other details. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, again, I'll put the link at the, uh, in the description of the video here to the registration page for Brandmeister as well. And uh, once you've registered with that, again, it might take a couple of days before they come back and confirm your account. Um, I can't remember myself, but again, it's fairly straightforward technically anyway. Okay, so you've got your DMR ID, you've registered with Brandmeister and everything is up and running on both of them things. So when you log into your Brandmeister account, this is the screen you should be shown, uh, sort of a general uh, screen showing uh, you know, hotspots online and uh, repeaters and voice calls ongoing and a map of the world there where DMR is active. Okay, so what we need to do now is click on our call sign up in the top right and we have to go to the self-care area. And in here, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on hotspot security at the bottom of the screen. So you click on the little button that says hotspot security to turn it on. Uh, if it isn't already and what you do then is in the password area type in a password whatever that password you want it to be I would advise don't put in any special characters uh, because I have heard that sometimes that can cause problems um, for some of the software used to uh, connect to DMR put in the password and hit the save button on the bottom right hand side now when you click that it kind of just cycles through and it doesn't give you any sort of confirmation to tell you that you have that saved but once the hotspot security stays on when you go away and back to this page then you can assume that the uh, password is saved okay guys so if uh, before watching this video you already had your dmr id you already had brandmeister set up and you already had uh, hotspot security set up with the password then um, you would have skipped straight to here. And if you've uh, followed me through to here, then great, thanks very much. Okay, so now we're at the area where we want to download the Dude Star app for Windows. So this is just a screenshot of the website, the download page. I'll put a link in it again, also in the description. And again, you can see there's an X64 and an X86 version. You just pick the version applicable to your Windows operating system. Now, just beware, when you download this, um, you run the exe straight off. It's not actually an installer. It's an exe that runs straight off and it does create some folders elsewhere on the PC and the local app data uh, for some of the DAT files and things like that. But it will um, probably give you a warning about that it potentially may harm your computer and all that sort of stuff. That's just pretty much standard Windows. Now, it's up to you if you want to do it or not. But uh, I've seen everybody that have watched on YouTube has got that message, just to be aware of it. Alrighty, so you have gone through all of the stuff so far. 
uh, and now you have downloaded and opened the Dude Star app. So on the settings tab, you'll see there's a number of options here. This first option, uh, the, the vocoder, uh, just leave that as the software vocoder. I've never seen anybody change that. The playback device and the capture device, or in other words, what speaker is your playback uh, and what capture is what microphone. Um, you know, you can change these if you have a Bluetooth microphone or out of the speakers of the computer and in the microphone of the computer, whatever you want, you can play with that yourself. It's fairly self-explanatory. Now, uh, further down then, you have to put in, of course, your call sign, um, which mine is in there. You also then underneath that have to put in your DMR ID. And over on the right hand side, the uh, DMR hotspot security password is actually the password that you set in your hotspot security in your brand Meister uh, self care area. So that's what you set there. So you don't have to change any of the other settings. You can put some text in there if you like uh, under latitude and longitude and your location and your description, um, your URL, for example, I put in the URL of my um, YouTube channel, uh, but you don't actually have to fill them out in my experience with this app. Okay, so moving swiftly on, we're going to go to the main uh, tab on the application. We're gonna choose the mode as DMR. And we are going to pick the Brandmeister Ireland host there, as you can see from the drop down list. Um, you notice I have a talk group number in there of 2722. That is just the Ireland call talk group. You could put in any uh, talk group number you want, and then you can click connect. So you'll see that you, you'll know that you've successfully connected to the DMR network if you get the green TX uh, button at the bottom. And I'm going to move on now to my actual demonstration and uh, hopefully we'll be able to make some QSOs and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay guys, so I'm gonna make an attempt at uh, demonstrating the Dude Star application for Windows um, to make a DMR contact and have a QSO on the DMR network. So as you saw earlier, we've, we've got our DMR ID, um, you've got registered on the Brandmeister system, and you've entered all them details as you should into the Dude Star app after installing it. So I'm going to set it up here so that the the output or playback device is the computer speakers, hopefully, so that you'll be able to hear the QSO on the video. Um, and then the input as the mic here, because I want to um, try to get as good audio as I can. And I believe this mic is actually quite good. I've had good signal reports from it um, for the few times I've used this. So let's see if we get logged in. So I'm gonna to go to the main screen. Um, I've chosen DMR from the mode. Excuse me. I've chosen the BM2721 Ireland host, which is the Irish Brandmeister host. And uh, I was trying earlier the talk group 2722, which is the Ireland call talk group, but there was nobody on it. So what we'll do is we'll go to talk group 91, which is kind of like the international um, uh, calling channel. It's probably the busiest talk group there is. So what I'll do is uh, I'll put in 91 and we'll, we'll go with that. I've set my settings here for the codec gain about 50% seems to be working okay for me. My own volume then almost maybe 90% and then the mic gain down a little bit here to about 30%, 33% because um, I have been told that um, probably to do with this mic comes through quite loud and to turn down my gain a bit. So I'm hoping that's a bit better now, but we'll see if we can get a QSO and get some feedback on the audio. So then you hit connect up here. Okay, so that's you now connected to the network. To the best of my knowledge, to actually connect to talk group 91 or whatever talk group number you have in here, you actually have to quickly tap the TX button to bring yourself in when nobody's talking. And now you should be connected to talk group 91. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is put out a CQ call and see if anybody comes back to it and uh, see if we can hear the audio on the video and just give it a go. Here we go. Uh, CQ91, CQ91, this is EI5IMB, just standing by there, over. Echo India 5, Mike Bravo, Mike 7, Bravo, Alpha, Alpha, this is Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo. How are you today? Yeah, I'm just um, still playing about a little bit here with um, the Dude Star application and uh, 
trying to get my settings correct and just giving a bit of a demonstration of it. Thanks very much for coming back to my call. Uh, how are you today? Uh, my personal is Dave here and I'm located in uh, the west coast of Republic of Ireland. Over. Yeah, you know how he was uh, financially uh, very good, good yeah. nice, uh, crisp, yeah. I'd probably talk a bit quiet, so I'd probably talk a bit to the microphone. Uh, I don't think I need to alter it, but uh, I do talk quiet, but uh, your audio is very good, yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah, QSL, QSL. Uh, thanks very much for that. No, I appreciate it. Um, I didn't get your personal there. Um, as I say, mine's Dave here. And uh, thanks very much for coming back to the call. Appreciate that. As I say, just uh, playing a bit here with the Dude Star app on Windows. Um, just getting into DMR. I don't have any DMR repeaters uh, within range of my home QTH. Um, but I probably will next step will probably go down the route of a... Um, uh, a hotspot. I do have a, a capable, a DMR capable handset. Thanks very much. Uh, I'm sure we'll uh, hopefully chat to you again. I'll throw it back to you for final EI5 IMB. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, today's uh, EI5 IMV, EI5 IMV, QB2 TNH. The audio sounds like excellent. Excellent audio coming in uh, to New Jersey here, New Jersey, USA. Sounding good. The name is Frank, KB2 TNH. Jova. Yeah, QSL Frank, uh, thanks very much. Uh, KB2 TNH EI5 IMB coming back to you. Uh, that's great, Frank, thanks very much. I'm using um, a Windows PC here um, with a Plantronics uh, Bluetooth headset. Now I have the audio out coming through the um, speakers of the computer and the audio in going through the, the boom mic on my headset. So um, yeah, I've got a, a few good reports, although some people, I, I did turn down the mic gain a little bit. I think it was a little bit too loud initially. So uh, it's good to hear that it's coming through clear. Yeah, you're coming through 5.9 here also, very clear. I'd say if I had your audio out into my headset, it'd be even clearer again. And, and same with um, last QSO there, um, 7 ba Tom, I'd say he would be the same. Uh, it's just that I have it coming through the laptop speakers, which aren't great, but um, no, very good, very clear. Thanks very much for the report, uh, EI5 IMB. Uh, this is uh, Frank in Bentor, New Jersey. Uh, I think you're still in Ireland. Uh, I believe the time uh, in Ireland now is uh, around 7 or 11 p.m. So take care. Have a nice evening. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Frank. That's the time. Yeah, you're absolutely right with the time. Thanks very much. and. Uh, and have a good time yourself there. She said, I'm not even sure what time it is with you. You're very good <laughs> for knowing the time here. But whatever time it is, uh, have a, uh, stay safe and enjoy yourself. And thanks for the QSO. And we'll hopefully talk to you again. Seven threes, guys. Uh, EI5 IMB going QRT now. So. All right, there, Jimmy. Jimmy, two Jimmy's. Seven threes. So there you have it. Um, that's a couple of DMR contacts there. We got uh, Mike Seven Bravo Alpha Alpha Tom in the UK, and we have uh, Kilo Bravo Two Tango November Hotel Frank over in the States. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I definitely enjoyed playing around with Dude Star here and getting on to DMR that way, as I don't have any uh, RF options near my QTH here within range of me. Um, I believe there's a great network down in Galway and a few other uh, gateways around the country. I just haven't had the opportunity to get in range of any of them, but hopefully when the restrictions are lifted, I get down there and um, I may get an opportunity to do that with my old uh, 8878. Uh, I'd like to just give a shout out to Doug McLean and the Dude Star Project. Doug McLean's the guy who uh, wrote this program. He's a uh, call sign AD8DP. And I'd also like to give a thank out, uh, thank you to uh, Robbie, EI3GGB, 
who was actually my first contact uh, using Dude Star uh, on the Ireland Call talk group. I believe Robbie was actually coming in on one of the repeaters down in Galway. So thanks very much, Robbie, for that. And just after talking to Robbie, I decided, you know what, I'll just make a little video on this and share it with everybody out there, just in case some people had some interest in coming this way uh, into DMR to give a, give a little taster. Um, one question I have for you guys before I go is uh, hotspots. That's probably where I'm going to go next. Look about setting up a hotspot here. Um, are there any requirements in AI here? Um, uh, license requirements or, or anything like that uh, for setting up a hotspot? It's quite easy to buy them online and all of that. And I just wanted to see, like, can you just buy them and set them up and use them uh, because they're low power or is there a power limit? Or do you have to apply to use them or, or what, what's the story with that? I'm sure some of you guys out here in EI probably have hotspots. So if any of you could answer that, please throw it down in the comments or send me a message. Uh, there may be a discussion on the IRTS Facebook page on it either. So look, that's it guys. We'll let's just go. Uh, until the next time, seven threes.